Hey guys, this is Spartacus here, and welcome to another video where in today's video we are going back to Call of Duty World War 2 and talking about the new event that is going on right now called Halloween Scream, and this event will last until November 6th, I do believe. I tried looking into like the collections that are available for this event, and it just says back for a limited time, which doesn't make any sense because we've never had this event before, so I don't know why it says back for a limited time. Very, very odd to me, so I believe this event does last until November 6th if I remember correctly uh, but anyway there are some new things that have been added in this event a lot of new weapons actually which is really nice and of course the headquarters looks differently which I just think is awesome I have to give sledgehammer games a big props for actually changing the headquarters for every event that comes into the game because it kind of just fits well with the theme you know and I'm really glad the headquarters looks all Halloween themed like you have these jack-o'-lanterns all over the headquarters um, that even says Halloween scream like with on fire or something like that around them like headquarters as well it just looks really really cool and of course we have candy corn on the headquarters as well I mean seriously you can't have a Halloween themed something without candy corn right I mean candy corn is so good oh my goodness I just oh man that stuff is good you guys but anyway that's enough about candy corn here let's go ahead and talk about the new weapons that are actually in the game so we have a new rifle called the NZ 41 and also I do apologize that I don't actually have any gameplay of these weapons because I haven't unlocked Locked them yet even though I could if I wanted to but I just haven't done that yet um, so anyway the NZ 41 rifle it's basically a slow firing rifle it's uh, pretty good if you're already aimed down sights waiting for an enemy to kind of pop up in front of you then you're probably gonna be able to kill him really fast but if an enemy like let's say just comes out of nowhere and you have to like aim down sights and shoot him you're probably gonna lose the gunfight that's just something I've heard from other people who have already used the gun and I thought I just mentioned it here in the video the second gun here is of course the EMP44 SMG. This is also a weapon that is pretty good, I suppose. Like it's very fast firing and it has a pretty good recoil to it. And when I say good recoil to it, I do mean it is a little hard to actually control. I've picked it up a couple times off the ground and it's not bad at close quarters, but beyond those medium ranges, it's just gonna be a real struggle to try and kill enemies because of the recoil pattern that's actually on the weapon and also keep in mind this new rifle and SMG can actually be obtained in the collections for the actual uh, themed uh, Halloween Scream events right so of course it's only going to be available until November 6th so make sure you get these two weapons and complete those collections before November 6th actually happens I know a lot of us are going to be jumping to Black Ops 4 so make sure you get it done as soon as possible but we also have some other weapons that are in the game that are not actually part of the Halloween Scream collections they're actually just part of Operation Overlord which is really nice so you can just come back to the game whenever in the future and try and complete those collections so we have another weapon called the SDK 9mm this is a suppressed sniper which is kind of funny because we already have a suppressed sniper in the game which is the Delisle and now we have another suppressed sniper in the game which I think is really odd and I think this sniper is actually better than the other suppressed sniper so I guess that's a good thing I mean we have a lot of bolt action snipers here in Call of Duty World War 2 and they all seem to do really really good and I mean, of course, having a suppressed sniper is very beneficial because, first of all, you can't even put suppressors on the sniper in the game, so that's a huge bonus. And also, you stay off the enemy's radar when you shoot the gun, which is also really nice. So, I think that's pretty cool for people who like using snipers. You guys have a new sniper to use. And there is also a crossbow in the game. Now, I was kind of wondering when they were going to add this into Call of Duty World War II, and I know a lot of people were probably thinking to themselves, well, was a crossbow actually in World War II? Well... I don't know if it was ever used in the battlefield, but I'm quite positive like these things were actually made back in the day. Um, and what's kind of interesting about this crossbow, so I picked this gun off the ground, and I've gotten actually a couple kills with it, and I, it totally threw me off guard, and I'm sure the same thing might have happened to you guys, because in previous Call of Duty games when we have a crossbow, it usually has an explosive tip, so once you stick the enemy with the crossbow, then the crossbow is going to explode, and then you kill the enemy, right? But that's not the case here in World War II, so the crossbow crossbow's not going to have an explosive tip, obviously. I mean, this is back in World War II. The technology isn't as advanced, you know. Um, so when you shoot someone with the crossbow, they will die instantly. Now, it's kind of weird. So I've, like I said, I haven't unlocked any of these weapons yet. But what's kind of odd is when I picked this gun off the ground and tried to get another kill with it, for some reason, I got a hit marker. Maybe I shot him in the foot on accident. I don't really remember exactly, but I felt like I got a hit marker on the guy. Well, actually, I know I got a hit marker on the guy. I don't really know that that's 
that's the case. So maybe you have to shoot on the upper chest or above to actually get that one hit kill. Um, so I'm not sure exactly about that, but I will say this, there are attachments for the crossbow. I have seen people use kind of like this tri-bolt with the one where like you actually shoot three arrows at the same time, which is very beneficial because if you're not like 100% accurate when you shoot the crossbow at an enemy, of course, those three arrows are kind of going to like do a little bit of a spread and so you one of those arrows might actually hit the enemy and you'll get that kill which is really nice so just keep that in mind also it's in a secondary uh, slot so if you actually go underneath the launchers it's going to be at the bottom there and that's how you're going to be able to acquire the crossbow in your creative class and also like I said before this new suppressed sniper this crossbow and of course we even have a new melee weapon called the sledgehammer about freaking time because this game is made by sledgehammer games I'm surprised they haven't come out with the sledgehammer melee weapon yet but these three weapons are actually available in Operation Overlord, so you can complete these collections whenever you want. There isn't going to be like a due date when you have to complete these, um, but the only weapons that you do need to actually acquire before the event ends is the NZ-41 rifle and the EMP-44 SMG. These are the only collections that you can actually obtain these guns in the Halloween Scream event, so just keep that in mind. And that is pretty much it that the Halloween Scream event has to offer. I I am pretty impressed with Sledgehammer games. I did not expect them to actually drop an event like right before Black Ops 4 comes out, but I'm happy they did, you know, because that kind of brings the Call of Duty community like one last hurrah for this game, you know. And, you know, I don't know if we're going to get any more events for Call of Duty World War II. I'm sure once uh, winter comes around again, they'll open up the Winter Siege collections and stuff like that. Um, but I don't know if they'll add any more events in this game, to be completely honest with you. Uh, I'm not really sure how much they're going to to be updating Call of Duty World War 2 when Black Ops 4 comes out. I can't answer these questions, but I really have appreciated how many different events have been in this game for this past year, and it's crazy how time has gone by, you know. And also, I'd like to mention that my next video I'm going to upload is actually going to be a really big review for this game because I do this every year. I did it with Infinite Warfare. I did it with Black Ops 3. I don't think I did it with Advanced Warfare because, I mean, I was kind of like getting used to the whole, you know, YouTube setup back then. Um, but yeah, I will be doing a huge review for this game, so stay tuned to the channel if you guys want to watch that. It might be like 30 minutes long. I'm going to try and make it shorter than that, but no promises there. So anyway, make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already for more Call of Duty videos later in the future and I shall catch you guys later.